Picture this, the dim glow of a black and white screen, a flickering testament to an era where stories unfolded in shades of gray. In that cinematic landscape, Anna Mae Wong emerged, an enigmatic figure whose presence resonated through time. Recall the moments when her image first danced across your consciousness, perhaps in the quiet corner of a film reel, or the hazy glow of a vintage television. There's a certain charm to those memories, a connection to a bygone era that lingers like the soft hum of nostalgia. Now, let's unravel the layers of Anna Mae Wong, a name that stirs echoes of a pioneering spirit in the realm of early Hollywood. Born against the backdrop of the 1920s, her journey unfolded in the quiet chaos of societal shifts and celluloid dreams. But before we dive into the reels of her life, let's sprinkle in some random facts quirky details that paint a richer portrait of this trailblazer. Did you know she was the first Asian American actress to gain international recognition? Or that her career spanned the silent film era to the talkies, a testament to her adaptability in a rapidly evolving industry? As we delve deeper into the tapestry of Anna Mae Wong's life, be prepared to unearth anecdotes that might surprise even the most ardent cinephiles. Her story is not just a chronicle of a woman in the spotlight, but a glimpse into the evolving narrative of representation and resilience. So, fasten your seatbelts for this journey through time, where the flickering images of Anna Mae Wong come to life once more. In the shadowy annals of Hollywood's golden age, a luminary emerged, defying the stereotypes of her era and etching her name in the history of cinema Anna Mae Wong. Born in Los Angeles in 1905, Wong transcended the limitations imposed by her Chinese heritage to become the first Chinese-American movie star. Anna Mae Wong's journey to stardom was both remarkable and fraught with challenges. At a time when racial prejudices ran deep, she navigated the treacherous waters of Tinseltown with resilience and grace. Wong's breakout moment arrived in 1922 when, at the tender age of 17, she starred in The Toll of the Sea, the first color feature made in Hollywood. This marked the inception of a career that would span decades, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Contrary to the typecasting tendencies of the era, Wong refused to accept roles that perpetuated Asian stereotypes. Fueled by a fierce determination, she sought to elevate the representation of Asian characters in film. Despite the prevailing racial bias, Wong managed to secure leading roles in notable productions such as Piccadilly and Shanghai Express alongside luminaries like Marlene Dietrich. Her defiance of societal norms extended beyond the silver screen. In 1936, Wong embarked on a tour of China, a pilgrimage of sorts to reconnect with her roots and explore her cultural heritage. This journey proved to be a seminal moment in her life, fostering a deeper understanding of her identity and influencing her subsequent film choices. Anna Mae Wong's influence transcended borders. Beyond Hollywood, she left an indelible mark on global cinema. In Europe, particularly in Germany, she found herself liberated from the racial constraints that plagued her in the United States. Her performances in German and British films were lauded for their nuance and depth, establishing Wong as an international cinematic icon. However, the accolades and achievements did not shield Wong from the persistent challenges of her time. Frustrated by the limited opportunities for Asian actors in Hollywood, she eventually found solace on the stage. Wong turned her attention to the theater, where her talents found a more receptive audience. Anna Mae Wong's life was tragically short-lived, passing away in 1961 at the age of 56. Yet, her legacy endures as a testament to courage, resilience, and a relentless pursuit of artistic integrity. She blazed a trail through the entrenched prejudices of her era, paving the way for future generations of Asian actors to shape and redefine the landscape of cinema. In the tapestry of Hollywood's history, Anna Mae Wong stands as a beacon of change, challenging stereotypes and reshaping the narrative for generations to come. Her story is not just one of a Hollywood star, but a narrative of empowerment, breaking barriers, and leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen. Anna Mae Wong's unseen on-screen moments in her journey from Hollywood High School to becoming a trailblazing actress. Anna Mae Wong left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Despite the limitations imposed by the era, Wong's career was marked by resilience and subtle defiance. One notable aspect of Wong's Hollywood years revolves around her time at Hollywood High School. Beyond the corridors of education, Wong found herself in front of the camera as a photographer's model. 
This early exposure to the visual arts hinted at the versatility that would later define her career in the film industry. While Wang's filmography spans various roles, her trip to China in 1936 stands out as a singular event. This journey, captured on film, became a televised piece in the 1950s, complete with Anna Mae Wang's narration. This rare glimpse into her personal life added depth to her public image, showcasing the actress in a context beyond the Hollywood spotlight. Despite prevailing racial prejudices of the time, Wang's career challenged norms. An intriguing aspect arises from the claim that she never kissed her leading men on the lips on screen. However, a scene in Java Head challenges this notion, as one shares a kiss with John Loder. In Lady from Chunking, a further twist unfolds as Harold Huber, a Caucasian actor playing a Japanese general, kisses Wang in a scene cut at the fading minute of the film. These moments highlight the complex interplay between societal norms and Wang's on-screen choices. Anna Mae Wang's career was not without its controversies. The deleted scene in The Flame of Love, where a kiss with John Longdon was censored due to fears of offending audiences with an interracial kiss, speaks to the challenges one faced. These instances offer a glimpse into the constraints one navigated, underscoring the broader struggles for representation in Hollywood during that era. In retrospect, Anna Mae Wang's career reflects a nuanced negotiation of societal expectations and personal expression. Her journey from Hollywood high school to global recognition was marked by unspoken challenges, and her on-screen moments, both seen and unseen, contribute to a complex legacy that extends beyond the frames of her films. Anna Mae Wong, a pioneering figure in early Hollywood, played a significant role in the film industry. One notable achievement is her starring role in the first full-length color movie, The Toll of the Sea. This marked a milestone in cinematic history, showcasing one's talent and the industry's evolving technological capabilities. In addition to her contributions on screen, Wang had family ties to cinematographer James Wang Hao, known for his groundbreaking work in cinematography. This connection highlights the interconnectedness of talent within the Wang family, contributing to the legacy of Asian Americans in the film industry. Later in life, Anna Mae Wong converted her Santa Monica, California home into several apartments, aptly named Moongate Apartments. She took on the role of manager from the late 1940s until 1956 when she moved in with her brother Richard. This entrepreneurial venture reflects Wong's adaptability and business acumen beyond her acting career. Anna Mae Wong's multifaceted contributions to film and her role in the development of color cinema solidify her place in cinematic history. From breaking new ground in technology to family connections within the industry, Wong's impact resonates far beyond her time. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the extraordinary legacy of Anna Mae Wong, take a moment to let the echoes of her performances resonate within you. Like a thread woven through the tapestry of cinematic history, Anna's contributions remain indelible, each frame a testament to her artistry. Now, it's your turn. Dive into the recesses of your memories and reflections on Anna Mae Wong's impact. Perhaps you were moved by her groundbreaking roles or enchanted by the subtleties of her craft. Share your thoughts, let the community breathe life into a collective celebration of this cinematic trailblazer. In this shared space of appreciation, we find ourselves connected by the stories she brought to life. Whether it's a poignant scene that lingered in your mind or a character whose essence touched your soul, your memories add layers to the rich tapestry of Anna's influence. As we revel in the brilliance she bestowed upon the world, we extend our gratitude to you, fellow admirer. Your participation adds depth to this exploration of Anna Mae Wong's impact on entertainment forging connections across time and space. Thank you for your time and the warmth of your interest. Until our paths cross again in the realm of shared admiration, revel in the magic that anime one has left behind.